Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets and Google Forms project in Practical Sheets. Today, we are going to learn how to link Google Sheets and Google Forms so that you can edit the links of your responses in Google Forms. What do I mean? Let's see it quickly in action. We're going to create a form for student enrollment and I'm going to create a student here. You can see that I can edit my response here or because I forgot the last name, for example. And I can submit it. And in my responses, I have my basic Google Forms and Google Sheets integration. What we're going to create here, this new column where I can edit the response directly from my Google Sheets. I don't have to go to the Google Forms necessarily. For example, I want to change this Cal Johnson, uh, the course is incorrect, but I want it to be in the forms and in the sheets so that everything is synced up. So I'm going to click here in the edit link and I can change this. It's not forms, it's sheets. I submit it and you can see that it automatically changed and I will always have this link so I can do it directly from sheets. It's not that complicated. We need to do some code from our Google Forms. And, but uh, as always, I'm going to take you step by step. But if you don't want to go step by step and just download the template, then you can do so in the Patreon page that I'll link in the description. And if not, you can follow me along in this tutorial and hopefully subscribe to the channel or just hit me with a comment or a like in the video. Before beginning, let me thank all of you for watching this, but especially my Patreons that are the ones that help me continue this channel. Thank you so much. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to need is a form, a Google form. So the easiest way, once you are logged into your Google account, it's type forms.new in the Chrome or in your favorite browser. We're going to give a name to it. So let's call this edit responses from sheets. So let's say we're going to have a name and then let's duplicate this and let's say that we have a phone number and uh, let's add a new one and call this course and it will be multiple choice and uh, sheets, abscript and fonts. Very simple form. We can change the title if you want. Students, student registration, whatever. First step. Second step, we're going to link this with a Google Sheet. So let's go to responses. In this case, there is a new form. We could create a sheet from scratch, just clicking here, link to sheets. So we could select a sheet that already exists or easier yet, create a new spreadsheet and you could give them the name you want. In this case, it's a good name to have the same name, but in parentheses have the responses. Let's click on create and it will automatically open this file that it's already linked with forms. Second step, done. Let's test it. So we're going to preview here and do a couple of test runs. Submit, and you can see that immediately it comes here. And let's submit another one. And here it is. So what I want to do is in this column five, I want to create a new field called edit link. And via Google Apps Script, what I want to do is each time I have a new submission, a new response, my code will come here and add automatically the link for this answer so that whenever I want to edit it, I just come here and click it and that's it. Normally, when I do modifications in the responses in Google Sheets, I can do it in two ways. Directly from Google Sheets, so I go here to my Google Sheets and click Apps Script and do the code here or in my Google Forms. In this case, given that we have to access the edit link, the only way of doing it that I know of is directly from my Google Forms. So I need to mandatorily click here and 
go to my script editor in the Google Forms. So we're going to name our project Edit from Sheets, Edit Response from Sheets. And we're going to call this function Edit and Get Edit Link. In the parentheses of this function, we're going to add this E letter. This is stands in for event. Normally in these functions that come from triggers, you have the option to bring an object depending on the trigger. So you could call this however you want, event, object event. However, normally in the Google Sheets, the Google Apps Script documentation, and in other online articles and videos, you'll find this as an E. So I'm going to leave it as it is, so you don't get confused. What I don't like about this E letter is that once you start writing your code with this E, Google Apps Script becomes blind, does not help you as it used to. So for this, we need to open the Google Apps Script reference. You could write in Google, Google Apps Script reference, and go to this first link, Reference Overview. We're going to this Automation Triggers and Events and to this Event Object. We are not in Google Sheets, we are in Google Forms, so we're going to look for Google Forms Events. Actually, you'll find it here. Google Forms Events, and the event I want is this form Submit. So I'll click here, and this is what I want. This is the help that I need. Once I have my e-event, I could call any of these methods or attributes, the response, the source, the trigger, or the auth mode. Normally, or for this video, we're just going to use this response. Given that this is a form response object, to know what methods can I use, I'm going to right-click this form response. So here I can see what methods does the form response object support. So I know now that I need this e.response. This is the first thing I'm going to need. And now I need to see if there is something that gives me the URL for editing. And it's lucky us, it's the first one, this get edit response URL. However, this won't work. Why? Because I haven't. Let's do dot and get edit response URL. And we're going to call this starting a variable called response URL. The thing is, I haven't activated the possibility of editing the responses. So this won't work. So I need to go to my form, go to settings. Here on the responses, I'm going to activate allow response editing. Now I will have access to an edit URL. Now this should work. So for now, I'm going just to log it to see that it's working response URL. But for this to work, I need to do a final thing I need first to save this. And then I'm going to the triggers and I need to activate the trigger. So I'm going to hit add trigger. I only have one function. So I'll, I'll choose the only function I have. I'll leave this as it is. I leave this as it is. And in event type, I'm going to change it for on form submit. I'm going to click save and it's going to ask me for some permissions. I'll choose my account. I'll go to allow. And that's it. Let's do one test run. I'm going to submit a response. Click submit. It is submitting here. I can remove all of these. Just a previous test with control of minus. What I want to check in my executions is that it effectively brought the link for editing. So let's go here, let's get a bit of zoom out. I'm going to actually, it did bring a URL. So let's going to test this, copy it and paste it here. And you can see that now I can edit John's information. And if I edit it, let's say I do this and I do sheets and I submit and I go to my edit response, you can see that it automatically changes it 
and it puts a note that the responder updated these values. This is really cool because I don't have to come back to the sheets and change it, it will change it automatically. So the only thing I need to do is to go here and paste this link that I already have. So now I can comment this. And now I need to connect to my sheet. How do I connect to my sheet? I will say spreadsheet app dot open by ID or by URL, however you prefer. I prefer ID. So under quotation marks, I'm going to my sheet. I'm going to choose this code. The URL for Google Sheets comes docs.google.com slash spreadsheets slash D slash and then it comes the ID. So you're going to select this ID before the slash edit. All this group of numbers, letters and symbols, you're going to copy it and paste it here. Even better, we can go up here and save it as a constant so you can so you can easily change it for your project and say sheet ID. To cut it, paste it here, and instead I'm going to write sheets ID. So you just change it up here. I'm going to call this SS standing. Uh, sorry, WS standing for worksheet. Then I need to connect with this spreadsheet that is called form responses one. I could edit this name and call it um, students. And we could say, we can add a new line, WS dot get sheet by name. And here again, we could do a constant that is called, that can be called spreadsheet or data spreadsheet name and here we could say that data spreadsheet name is students and you could replace it for whatever the name of your sheet is let's store this in a variable called ss or data ss so we keep it all related and now what i need to do is go to the last row i have because how does this work? When I submit a response, this will add a new row here. And what I want to do with my code is to go to this recently added row and in this row, go to column number five and add the link there. So for this, I'm going to say data ss dot get last row. The last row where I have data in. This, let's store it in a variable called last row to be creative. And last thing is to access this cell, this cell. How do I access that cell? I could say data ss dot get range. The row will be this last row. The column will be number five. And again, we could set it up as a column, as a constant. So we could say constant column, edit link. Our case will be five, but in your case could be another thing called edit link. We're going to say set value and we're going to, as a value, put my response URL. And that's it. Let's see if it works. I have to say, and let's try it. Submit another response. So it already set this up and the edit link, apparently something didn't work. I think it's that I don't have the permissions in my spreadsheet app. So I need to go to my trigger, edit it. So the only thing I need to do is just click on the pencil and then save. And it will ask me again for permissions because the first time I asked for permissions, I didn't ask for permissions for sheets, only for forms. So let's do this again and uh, let's try it. So another thing I got wrong is that I need to put this get last row with capital letter. So let's save it and let's try it again. Let's submit it. And you can see that first it brought the basic data and then lasted a little while it brought the edit 
So let's see if I click here and I have access to that answer and I'm going to change it, submit it, and it changes it here. Okay, and I can always access it from here. That's it. You could reset this, just deleting this so that it will start working from then on. Let's do another. And here it is. If I click, I can change it. The other nice thing is that, that if I edit it from here, from the same link in forms and uh, Williams, and I submit it, it also changed it here. Okay, so it's connected, it syncs up. So that's it. I hope you liked it. I hope it's useful. And if you want to download this template, you can go to the Patreon page, download it immediately, and ask me anything that doesn't work with this template. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you especially to my patrons that helped me continue doing these videos. See you next time.